But the minutes of the last meeting of the RBI's Monetary Policy Committee showed that the panel's members are prepared to look through the first round of food inflation. The external members feel that food inflation is largely transitory. However, one interesting indication is that the RBI is determined to squeeze out liquidity. Lata is joining us here in the studio to give us details of all that she's picking up. Lata, morning. I would think that uh, the MPC minutes will be negative for banks. There is an extreme hawkishness in terms of wanting to squeeze out the liquidity from the system. You see, everyone looks at the inflation number because inflation number was ugly. But on that, you don't notice so much hawkishness. Every, you know, most of the, even the RBI members say, we will look through the uh, first round of inflation. As tomato prices go up or wedge prices go up, food inflation goes up. But we will watch out if there is a second round. That is because of high food prices, which are persistent, which are not going away. You know, cereals and pulses are not going down that easily. Do people start raising wages? And do wages push up prices again? So we will look for that second round spiral, is what RBI says. The external members are far more benign uh, in terms of believing that this is transitory. RBI's worries are there's El Nino and global food, uh, cereal prices may make it persistent. But the real, uh, you know, hawkish notes are where the RBI members talk about liquidity. And liquidity is not an MPC terrain. It is an RBI terrain and the RBI members are referring to it. Uh, I, you know, the governor's statement, we will manage the liquidity overhang proactively using the various instruments. This is actually a, a, an OK statement compared to what Deputy Governor Patra says. Extremely hawkish. Risk to inflation outlook stems from the liquidity overhang in the banking system. Withdrawal of excess liquidity should engage attention of RBI going forward. And this last sentence is, I guess, most hawkish. Liquidity is a threat to the RBI MPC resolve to align India's inflation to 4%, besides uh, the potential risks to financial stability. So this indicates that that incremental CRR hike that they announced uh, will either continue or if it looks too foolish to continue that because this is about the 2000 rupee note, you can't keep on extending that for another quarter. They may devise another way in which to squeeze out liquidity. Uh, what it means is banks have to go helter-skelter to borrow immediate money to fill their CRR needs. And you may have already noticed that there are several banks offering 7% on savings rate. One of them is offering 8.5% on short-term uh, fixed deposit. Obviously, that will mean their margins will be crunched. This could also impact other interest rate sensitive stocks like NBFCs who depend on you know, short-term money from the market. So this is definitely bank nicked. All right, Lata, noted that view. Thanks a lot uh, for that. And yesterday, in fact, uh, the bank nifty as well came up substantially from the day's high.